As sound libraries become more advanced and contain more articulations and dynamics, it's more important than ever to understand how to use VST expression and VST expression maps. Now, a lot of people may have heard of VST expression, but not quite got their head around what it actually is. In this video, we are going to expel any fear whatsoever you may have of working with VST Expression, and I'm going to show you how to set up VST Expression maps for patches that come with VST Expression inside of software instruments. Understanding it will help you start working with different articulations and create a much more realistic sound in your music production for natural sounding instruments. For the lead melody in this track, I'm using Hellion Symphonic Orchestra and the Violin Solo Combi Patch. You can see these orangey keys down the bottom. Now they represent key switches and they represent these different articulations which are up here in the middle of the instrument. So things like legato, trills, uh, pizzicato, staccato. So different styles of playing for a violin player and all styles that you would expect a highly trained violin player to have mastered. So rather than jumping from patch to patch and accessing all of these different types of expressions and articulations, they're all included in the one patch so you can quickly jump backwards and forwards for a more realistic and natural sound. Now, it's not always practical to be able to play them live at the same time. So it helps us to be able to enter these articulations after we've recorded the melody in. And to do that, we can use an expression map. So I'm just opening up the expression map here and I've created these key switches or imported them from the actual patch itself. So now in the expression map, you can see that my articulations over here in the expression map map all of the articulations that I have inside of the Hellion Symphonic Orchestra patch. Now if I come down to my controller lane and select articulations, you can see them all listed down here in the lower zone. I'm just maximizing this window so it's a little bit easier to view these articulations. So now we've got all the articulations and expressions associated with this instrument. And it's just a matter now of using your pen to draw in different articulations. So my first expression or articulation is legato, which is giving me a very smooth melody line. But let's say I want some tremolo. So that's a violin bowing very quickly over this long note here. So I've used my pan again and I've entered an expression and well, it hasn't worked. And that's because the expression that I've entered has been entered after the actual note itself. So the point is expression entries must start before or on exactly the same beat as the note itself. One thing that would make it easier to lock onto the expressions on the grid would be to quantize my melody. So I've just selected everything and I've hit the quantize button and now my melody's locked onto the actual grid itself. And I can use the snap button to make sure that I'm entering these expressions exactly on the start of the note. Now my melody is moving from legato to tremolo, back to legato, tremolo, and then back to legato. Instead of recording and using key switches at the same time, so basically making a decision on the expression as I'm playing the melody, I can use these controller lanes to decide after I've recorded the melody and really have a think about which expressions I want to use and of course I can change them around. So in this section with the melody which is coming down, I've tried staccato and pizzicato. Naturally, the pizzicato isn't as loud, so I would want to go in and either edit the dynamics or go back to maybe the velocity on the controller lanes and make sure that was moved up just a little bit. So it's about sensing the different types of articulations and expressions and understanding that each one has its own dynamic range. Working with key switches and expression is a lot of fun, and I think that fun comes from having just more masterful control over the actual emotive qualities of the instrument itself. Another neat thing about VST Expression is that it's integrated across a number of different editors in Cubase. So we can access the expression map right here in the score editor and simply find an articulation or an expression and draw it in the place where we want the expression to change. So it's essentially bringing these scores or the notation to life by allowing us to 
use more emotion to represent the dots on the page. Now, it's not just expression. There's also dynamic mapping. So I can open up this editor here and start to enter different velocities for different expressions or dynamic expressions. So once I'm happy with the different types of dynamics, basically I pull a symbol out and I can enter it anywhere out here on the school window. And Cubase is now going to follow that directive. So the moment I'm saying uh, pianissimo and I'm putting a crescendo in and now we're going to get really, really loud. Let's say, for example, I want to have the start of this piece very quiet. So I'm putting in very, very pianissimo or quiet. Now, it's too quiet for me to hear. So I could go back to the dynamics mapping setup and change the velocity of this particular dynamic. Or I can simply grab another dynamic and enter it in. So now you can see Cubase has adjusted the velocity, so it's playing a lot louder. So now it's a matter of going through and finding the dynamics that I want. For demonstration purposes, I'm just grabbing them at will and putting them in here so you can hear that they're getting louder and softer based on the dynamic markings that I've specified. Now, we've already seen VST expression correlate to both the score editor and the MIDI editor. And it's the same for dynamics. So now that I've entered those dynamics on the score, you can see them represented down the bottom in their very own controller lane. And I just use this pop-up menu to change in between the different dynamics. So it's really easy to start working with VST expression maps and also dynamics. Another thing you can do is set up your own expression maps. So I've gone to a piano sound here and I'm just going to click over on the event so that I can see the expression maps and now I'm going to set up my very own. In the expression map setup I'm going over to the left hand side and clicking this plus sign. Now let's call it test and down the bottom set up a remote key. So I'm setting a remote key for something below where I think I'm going to be playing. Now the remote key is that key switch so it's that orange yellowy uh, type of key that we saw earlier on in Hellion Symphonic Orchestra. You can also set the remote range here. So I'm going to set this as a minus one. And now let's go down to maybe dynamics and let's select Sforzando. So that's that SFZ, which is a very strong and sudden accent. So now we need to set up a velocity that's going to represent the type of dynamic that we've chosen. So I'm just going to enter 127 as a minimum and the velocity as 127. Now all I need to do is go to the expression map and select test. And if I play the note, you'll notice that it's accented. So I've created my very first VST expression um, or articulation. And now if I want, I can continue the process and create more, which will give me greater dynamics or greater expression over the instrument that I'm working with. Now I've been using Hellion Symphonic Orchestra uh, to demonstrate VST expression, but if you've got Hellion Sonic SE3, which comes as part of Cubase, try typing VX into the search area. Now all of these VX sounds have got key switches and articulations, and they're quite realistic patches. So it's a great way for you to be able to get your head around VST expression, start working with it, and of course experiment with these patches which have a number of different articulations. So you can see here I've got the nylon string guitar VX loaded in and you can see all of the expressions that I have which are included as part of this patch. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check the video out. Please give us a thumbs up if you've learned something about VST expression and of course subscribe to the Cubase channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll catch you there.